What's up guys? It is Friday, May 3rd, 2024. We're at the Bitcoin block height of 841,991. <laughs> TikTok next block. I'm laughing because I got about 75% through my last video. And then a young lady over there uh, asked me to help her in, in the middle. I'm at the gas station. She asked me to help her with something over there. In the middle of, uh, hi Kathy, that's her right there. In the middle of, um, middle of my video. <laughs> so I had to start all over because I'm not editing it. I am out of town right now. Uh, I am not in Las Vegas or Nevada. Um, had to take care of something, kind of a little bit of an emergency, but no big deal. And I uh, had a very interesting conversation with Kathy. She's a, uh, Native American, she's very famous. Her dad was a very famous Native American and I respect Native Americans. I don't agree with her on her policies or her politics. Um, respectfully, ma'am, she's, um, she's a Democrat and uh, she has definitely different uh, viewpoints to me, but I love her either way. She's God's uh, ch children, one of God's children. And there's no one on this, on this God's green earth, or especially in America, that I respect. I never, I never told you guys this. That I respect more than Native Americans. I respect, I, I respect that culture, and I respect them so much. I had to do a uh, a project in, in college a few years ago, and I learned a lot. And uh, I respect them. I respect them, really do. But uh, yeah, what I was talking about <laughs> in the last video, um, I don't know if you can see these. They're like. Not skydiving. I guess they're well, not skydiving, but they're doing those little thingies when they fly with the thing. It's pretty cool, actually. I've never seen it. There was actually more of them in the other video. But I was talking about. Uh, did you see the guy in charge of? Um, and by the way, she's not going to vote for Trump. She does not like Trump at all. <laughs> and I said, okay, you know, and I didn't tell her who I liked or what I am because I'm not a Republican or a Democrat. And definitely, she definitely had some interesting views uh, in comparison to mine and probably yours. And once she sees this video, she might click off if she sees some of my videos. But anyways, uh, respectfully, respect you, ma'am. Uh, I was talking about the guy, uh, President Biden's uh, MMT guy or the money in charge of the money or whatever or something. I don't know his title. He's, he's high up there. And I know you probably seen the video where the guy just absolutely sounded like a complete moron when a lady asked him a question about if we can print the money uh what do we need to borrow money that we can print and he just went into an absolute cringe word salad that was just epic man and you know it's funny to watch and stuff like that but it's not funny you know what i mean because this country is just Oh man. It's sad, you know. And after talking to uh Kathy, you know, because I, I, I normally uh don't have a conversation with someone uh that I just uh don't agree with with a lot of things. Again, I respect you, Kathy, if you're watching. But uh to hear that side uh say the things that they say. It's like we're looking at the same screen, but we're watching two different movies. You know, we were talking about immigration and uh, her, her thoughts on immigration is completely different than mine and probably yours. Uh, she said, it's okay. They should be able to come in. And I said, should we have a limit? She said, no. So yeah. Um, I'm all up. I'm up for a healthy debate. I didn't debate her. I just asked her where she was coming from. And, you know, she told me that she is definitely voting for uh, Biden. And I asked her, is, would she vote for RFK Jr.? She said no. She said, she said he's crazy. She also said that uh, <laughs> she's with Palestine and she's against Israel. And I said, you still going to vote for Biden? She said, yep. Okay. I said, don't you think that Biden because the Democratic Party's kind of split in two. Don't you think uh, Trump's gonna win and Biden's gonna lose? Oh no, she said, oh no, Biden will win. 
Okay. Okay. Do, you know about the mountain? Do, do I know about the mountain? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah, okay. No, no. So in, back in the day, um, uh -huh. back in the seventies, the sixties they started on the other side, uh -huh. and they and they, and they uh, tried making it to the top. Yeah. So the bikes got better and better, and they started right down there. See the tracks going up? Uh huh. And as the bikes got better and better over the years, there used to be, there used to be a show called ABC's Wide World of Sports. Oh, okay. And they had ties with ropes. Mm -hmm. so, wow. I like this to grab the bikes when the guys fell off because the nice bikes. Okay. What's your name, sir? Leo. Nice to meet you, Leo. Yeah. I'm recording a video. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm sorry. It's you? okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. You have no, a good no, day. No, it's just, it's yes, sir. I say you're yeah, yeah, it's cool. Thank you for the information. Nice people. I'm not starting this one over. <laughs> what was I saying? What was I saying? Um, boy, I just got thrown off. But yeah, uh, two different movies, one screen. Dang, what was I saying? I was about to say something good, too. But uh, I think I was. <laughs> but, uh, oh, this is what I was going to say. This country, in my 49 years since I've been here, I've never seen it this divided. One thing that uh, a far, somebody on the far left or somebody on the far right or anybody in between, they all agree on one thing, that no one's going to be happy after the, after the election. We are going to... we're. I don't want to. I think we're going to be in a civil war between me and you, in the fence post. <laughs> I think we are, man. Uh, yeah, uh, because just think about it. Think about it, right? She. So Kathy, I was going to say this too. Kathy says she's not going to vote for JFK. He's. I mean, RFK Jr. He's. He's a nut job. She said. But her dad, her famous dad, really loved JFK. But she won't vote for RFK. No matter. She just won't vote for him. She's just going to vote for Biden. And there a lot of people are just going to vote for Biden. And then I asked her, um, what is, what has Biden done? You know, what do you, what do you like that he's done? And she says, oh, well, you know, he helped the military and this and that. And then, you know, I don't really know or something. She said, I said, oh, <laughs> love you, Kathy. Okay. <laughs> no disrespect. I respect, respect the heck out of you. If the Democrats win, uh, let's talk common sense here, guys. Okay, let's get back to common sense. Because it ain't common. Uh, in order for Joe Biden to win, something, something fishy is going to have to happen. Okay, we, we, all, we all know that. Okay. If that happens, if he wins, uh, let's just say... January, you know what, is going to be tiddlywinks, okay? Because they know they're not going to let it happen twice in a row. And then if Trump wins, the lefties are going to go nuts. RFK Jr. is not going to take a lot of votes from Trump in comparison to Biden. He will take some votes from Trump, people that uh, would vote Trump and stuff like that, but more with Biden because he is a, he is, excuse me, he is a progressive. He just is. So... Either way, uh, <laughs> learn about what's going on in your community. Learn about politics on the local, state, and federal level, guys. It ain't all about Bitcoin, even though I love talking about it. I love talking about it. And it's crazy because the gas prices here are a lot lower uh, than they are in Vegas. And, you know, you go different areas, things are different prices. But relatively speaking, I guarantee you, uh, in 2019, five years ago, or 2020, or whatever, before the massive money, money printing happened, uh, let's just say the goods and services are a lot more expensive, relatively speaking. And speaking of things being more expensive and inflation, uh, I told Kathy that I'm a Bitcoin educator, low level. <laughs> and uh, she said something to the effect of, you know, she doesn't understand or doesn't know it or doesn't really trust it. And I understand that. Uh, but one thing I don't trust is the system. After you see that video from that guy, you'll know what I'm talking about if you haven't seen it already. But um, we got to hold on to our energy. 
somehow, some way. And you see people walking up to me, <laughs> talking to me about this and that, you know. I just wish more people would talk about inflation and what's going on in this country and uh, the theft that's going on. I and mean, we all know what's, what's going on, we do. And there's only one way to stop it. And that's why I'm out here talking to as many people as I can to talk about the best way to save. And for me, the only way to save. And that's Bitcoin. I love each and every one of you, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace and love, guys.